Today, finally some tough talk on the most misunderstood topic in business today. How to get it all done in today's insane, crazy world and still enjoy an incredible, incredible life. Get that fucking crack out of your life. You have legacies to build. We grew that business from 3.4 million to 17.1. Horse power, not horse shit. You want to be the parent that's an ally. They don't need another fucking friend. Not everybody's cup of whiskey. Toughest advice for the toughest businessmen. Be relentless. Michael McLean, noblebook.com, badassletter.com. We're in Orlando this week. My wife, Krista, and my daughter, Emery, are actually over at Universal Studios today. It is Harry Potter Day for my daughter, Emery. They're having lunch over there. And we're actually, we began reading the Harry Potter books. Uh, Emery's nine. We started reading the books in the last year, and she's really enjoying them. Uh, we held off on those for a while. Uh, she's really enjoying them, so it's it's pretty congruent heading over to Universal today. Apparently, they do an amazing job uh, at Universal with the Harry Potter books, and uh, um, so that's where they are today. I've been downstairs listening to several speakers this morning after my morning walk and uh, my copywriting Operation Money Suck Time, and then uh, I did some reading down by the pool this morning. The weather here has been really nice in Orlando. So... Uh, today, uh, I hear a lot of talk uh, in the hallways down below. I'm getting a lot of questions here. I have, I have quite a few uh, friends, um, some newsletter subscribers. I have uh, some people that I've done a little bit of business with. I have a couple of people here I did consulting with. And I've met a lot of new people in the hallway at this seminar. There's 5,000 people at the four-day event. Uh, my wife, Kristen, and I had um, a private dinner with uh, the great Dan Kennedy on Tuesday. So I've enjoyed talking to a lot of people. But I got to share with you, uh, for all the success talk in the hallways and especially on stage, I make this much money and I make seven figures and I make eight figures and I do this and I do that. When I talk to these entrepreneurs, some of them have been on the stage. Uh, some of them are students here. Um, and I talk to them behind the scenes in the hallway. The story is very different when it comes to personal sovereignty. Uh, you know, you can get up on the stage, you're, you're 25 years old, and I'm a business coach, or I'm a life coach, or I make seven figures in my underwear and all this other bullshit. And uh, I've been in business for 31 bloody-nosed years. I've been a professional hockey coach, amateur hockey coach with my own teams for 22 years. Uh, I've been in the trenches a long, long time. And if there's one thing that I can smell, it's horseshit from 10 miles away. And uh, not to be critical of some of the performers here this week, because that's what I call them. I don't call them all speakers. I call them a lot of performers. It's real easy to dispense, um, you know, unproven sentences or headlines like, well, I make seven figures or I make eight figures. And I'm like, like, fuck you do. Um, I know what it's like to make five figures. I know what it's like to grow a business to six figures. And I know the difference it takes to go from six figures to seven figures. I work with businessmen that do make eight figures. And I have a track record of working with one billionaire with a B. There's not too many consultants out there who can say they've actually consulted with a proven money in the bank billionaire. And I'll tell you, it doesn't matter if it's six figures, seven figures, or even eight figures. None of these men that I talk to, that none of them talk like that. These guys are, are workers. They're guys who have proven systems. They're extremely disciplined. Um, and it's taken them decades to get there. They're not 23 years old. They're not performing on a stage. They're not uh, writing books about it. What they're doing is they're actually in the trenches selling. And that's, that's how you become a six-figure, seven-figure, and even an eight-figure um, rainmaker, um, whether you're a small business owner, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're a salesperson, uh, I've worked with many of them and none of them sound like that. Um, and a lot of them humility too. Like the guys that I work with who have the most money and have the most freedom and have the most personal sovereignty, it's interesting. They, they, uh, they don't have the Rolex and if they do, well, they don't show it off. Um, they don't have silly dreams like Lamborghinis and things like that. I mean, the guys, uh, um, it's for them, they buy time. It's not about owning three houses or vacations or this or that. It's about personal sovereignty. So the question that keeps coming up to me 
uh, when people talk to me in the hallway, it's interesting. They come to me to talk about, you know, how do I get it all done and still have an amazing life? That's the secret they haven't cracked. These guys on stage or these so-called multimillionaire performers uh, that are up there talking about business. It's one thing to make money, like my, like my father says, any fool can make money, any fool can make a product, any fool can make soap. But the secret is the badass millionaire world builder. Uh, it's the person who builds the lifestyle with the wealth. It's the businessman who's got the marriage, has the relationship with the children, the grandchildren. Uh, you're in good physical health. You're in good mental health. Um, you've got the good relationships. You've got the good, uh, um, the good income. You've got it all. That's the secret. And that's what you don't hear from 99.9% .9 of these so-called success speakers. So to answer that question for you today, how, you know, it's, it's easily the most misunderstood uh, question in business today, how to get it all done and still have an incredible life. And just listening and talking to a lot of these guys out in the hallway, the advice that I dispense to men like you, um, to my prospects, to my video watchers, my mastermind members, my newsletter members, um, in my telegrams, is I get it all done. I get it all done. A seven-figure income, an eight-figure net worth. Um, I drive my daughter to school every day. I pick up my daughter at school. My wife and I have all kinds of time together. I'm done work every day by 3, 3.30 at the latest. I work because I want to work. I've been in a safe harbor position now for eight years. I've never had to wake up in the last eight years and go to work, but I choose to work. I choose to write books. I choose to write newsletters. I choose to run masterminds. Uh, my new mission is to help one million businessmen like you uh, build the, the badass millionaire world of your dreams over the next decade. That's a, that's a big chunk to chew to take. You know, I'm dedicating the next 10 years of my life to helping one million businessmen have it all. And uh, I don't need to be working right now, but that's the mission. That's the passion. That's the coaching. This is my obsession. This is my passion. So um, not only chasing your mission and your passion, but also having time for your marriage, your children, your physical health, your mental health, your community, the power of the word no for me. My, uh, my favorite complete sentence in the in the English language is N-O, N-O. Uh, my favorite word in the English language is N-O. And just talking to especially these young wet behind the ears entrepreneurs in the hallway, like I was invited two days ago to come to a mastermind in Phoenix in January and speak to a group of, uh, of entrepreneurs. And I mean, before the guy can, he said, like, I'll pay for your, uh, your speaking fee. I'll pay for um, your travel, your wife. No. And the reason I said no to that is I have other responsibilities that are more important. So the power of no allows me to say yes and to continue to say yes to the things that matter most to me. If I had said yes to that speaking engagement, I don't do any speaking engagements at all anymore. Um, I'm not going to travel. I'm not going to get on a plane. I'm not going to come to a hotel to speak to a bunch of entrepreneurs unless it's a special, special occasion. Um, I, I, you know, I don't want to miss my skating coaching at home with my daughter. I don't want to miss my hockey um, uh, coaching on Sundays. I don't want to interrupt my world at home. I don't want to, uh, I want to sleep in my own bed. I want to stay at the lake. If we're in Naples, I want to be at home. So when I say no, it says yes to the things that matter most to me. And I noticed all these young entrepreneurs at this seminar, they, they're, they're full of piss and vinegar, right? When you're, when you're 25, you're 30, you're 35, everything is yes, 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 I can take on more. How many funnels do you have, Michael? And I just stun them when I say, you know, I have two funnels, I have one main funnel, one product, and I make five or 10 times what you do. Uh, the simplification of my world just stuns these, these young guys and gals uh, where their businesses are so complicated. They serve this, they serve that, their funnels, they got 23 employees, they got this person, they're on the road 200 days a year, and all they do is work. And I remember those days, I mean, I was the same in the hockey business where you work, 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 but at least I had the discipline to chase one dream. These guys are all over the place. So I'm just constantly saying no, so that I can say yes to the things in my life that matter the most. 
Um, if I go around saying yes to speaking engagements and masterminds and Michael, can you phone consult? I've had some guys ask me to, to help them with their marketing and, and, and all this other stuff. And if I say yes to those things, like I was mentioning to my wife, Krista, last night, every time I say yes to something new, I've got to say no to something that I'm passionate and that I want in my world. If I keep saying yes to opportunities, you know, phone consulting, which I don't do, uh, podcasts, all this other stuff, the big thing is I start saying no to things like morning walking. I'll eventually start saying no to my reading time. I'll say I'll start saying no to my uh, uh, Operation Money Suck. All of a sudden, I'll say no to uh, you know to a gallon of water a day. My health will start to slip. My mental health will start to slip. Uh, my nutrition, my diet. Uh, my happiness, my relationships, I'll start to be away from my daughter or be away from my wife or uh, all of a sudden date night will get pushed to the next week. These are the kinds of things that suffer when you don't have, when you don't use a daily dose of vitamin O. And uh, vitamin N is so critical, just no, no, no to almost everything. And now I've ingrained it in my mindset where I can see it coming, I can sense it a mile away, especially at events like this. Michael, we got to fly you into, uh, and I'm like, no. Uh, well, we got to have you take a look at our front. No. Uh, is there any way you can, you know, consult us with our book? No. Uh, it's just um, because I want to say yes to the things that matter. Like on Sunday, I'm flying out of here. I, my family's been with me. I travel with my wife. I travel with my daughter. We have our niece with us this time to help out. But we're together the whole time. I want a seamless world. So to answer that elusive question of how to get it all done in today's insane, insane, crazy world, but still enjoy an incredible life. Vitamin N, no, no to almost everything. Warren Buffett says no to almost everything. Um, Charlie, Charlie was saying about Warren, he says, if you came to their offices from day to day, he says, you wouldn't find anything spectacular. He said, if you came to their investment office, he said, you would see two old guys saying no to almost everything. And I love that quote where uh, Warren and Charlie, like, you know, people think that they're doing all these amazing things and spreadsheets and, and the next great thing. And he says, it's just two old guys talking at each other out of doing everything and saying no to everything. And that's from, you know, two of the most famous and successful investors in the world today. So the more successful a person is, like, um, I had the pleasure of working with a, with a, a billionaire net worth individual uh, for about three years. And he just said no to everything, not almost everything, no to everything. Um, and, you know, the, the more successful financially a person is, an eight figure person says more no's than a seven figure. A seven figure net income person says no more than a six. Uh, a six says more, says no more than five. And when you get into the lower levels of people making, you know, $50,000 or $100,000 a year, it's just yes, yes, yes. You're jack of trades, master to nobody. And once you get in the habit of just saying, okay, for the next week, for the next month, for the next six months, I'm going to say no to almost everything. You'll see your income 1x, 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x. There's a link, direct link between vitamin N and how much you can make as an entrepreneur or a businessman. And now, you know, people say, well, it's easy for you, Michael, now to say no. It's just, you know, I, I've got it in my mind where time is finite, energy is finite. So before the words can come even out of the person's mouth, I'm like, no. No, I don't want to do that. Mark Andre will come up with a great suggestion for us to do something else. I'm like, mm, no. Leanne will come up with a suggestion, you know, for us to do something else with client. No. Uh, and now we're all on the same page with that. It's like most things are just vitamin and O. So that's my answer uh, to everything that ails people. And I go to these seminars, like I was saying, and man, oh man, it is such a dog and pony show because nobody really peels back the curtain. You have a you have 5,000 people here, and I bet you 95% of these people are working 16, 17, 18 hours a day. I bet you uh, I bet you a, a million dollars that 95% uh, of the people at this seminar are on their phones for uh, 17, 18 hours a day. I can guarantee that 95% of them don't sleep. They don't sleep more than six hours. Uh, I can guarantee you 95% of them are unhappy. 95% are unfit physically and mentally. And 95% uh, of them, let's say 99% of them have no vitamin N in their life. It's just more, more, more uh, jack of trades, master of none. 
So uh, get a lot of vitamin N going in your life. Start with a week. Say, I'm going to say no to everything for a week. Then say, okay, for the next 30 days, no is on the board. Doesn't matter what happens, no. You know, uh, unless it's the opportunity of a lifetime, the answer is automatically no. And then go from six, but then, you know, go from a month to six months and see what happens. People at eight figures say no all the time. People at seven figures say no almost all the time. People at, seven, at six figures say no and yes. And people at five figures just say yes all the time. Everybody else's agenda is more important than theirs. And uh, the billionaire that I worked with for, for three years, it was all about his agenda. He did nothing but play offense. You couldn't get him to say yes to anything. I, I mean, it's just insane. It was just all about his agenda. And that's the reason that uh, his wealth was at that level. Just no constantly. So how do you get it all done in today's insane, crazy world? Don't participate. Do what I do. Say no to everything. Michael McLean, uh, nobullbook.com. If you haven't got a copy of my book, fix that problem by going to nobullbook.com. If you're not a subscriber to my newsletter, you can still, there's still time for you to join my newsletter membership at uh, badassletter.com. I'll send you a nice t-shirt. I don't actually have a nice t-shirt on. I have a nice uh, brand new suit uh, on. I'm the only guy, 5,000 people. Uh, there's five of us that are dressed for success. Uh, brand new suit, shoes, tie, every single day, a brand new suit. Uh, I want to be the opposite of everybody else. I want to show up like nobody else. Uh, I'm the only guy here early. I'm the only guy that's dressed well, you know, like a like a pro. I'm I'm uh, I'm the only guy dressed like um, you know. The better you look, the more money you make. So I want to stand out, right? I want to look different. I want to be different. I love the fact that everybody here looks like they lost their luggage at the airport. Like literally, and I'm not talking about kids. I'm not knocking the young people. I'm knocking, there's guys here that are 65. They look like they're homeless. 55 look like they're homeless. 45, they look like they forgot their luggage at the, or lost their luggage at the airport or uh, they lost the luggage. It's just insane. There's zero competition, man. There's zero competition. Get out there and do something. There's no excuses. There's zero comp competition out there. So just keep saying no, no, no to almost everything. Uh, time is dwindling to get a copy of my, uh, my brand new product, How to Make Maximum Money in Minimal Time. Uh, check that link out below, uh, blackhatletters.com. That's blackhatletters.com. I'm offering that product to the end of the month and then I'm cutting it off uh, and it won't be available. That's my old renegade insurance marketing uh, newsletter is the whole thing. It's just the most powerful product that I've ever put together, uh, how to make maximum money in minimal time. You're going to need that product heading into the next three years. We're going to see a winter and a thinning of the herd uh, like never before. There's going to be lots and lots of blood in the streets. It's your opportunity to separate yourself from the 99% and make sure that these are the best three years of your career. Not not hiding at home, not you know, not in the fetal position, but being the most aggressive three years of your life. This is separated season. This is when we're going to separate the men from the boys the upcoming 36 months. A tool that will certainly help you do that. The ultimate investment in yourself, your family, your marriage, your marketing is at that link below. How to make maximum money in minimal time. I am off to the seminar. I will talk to you tomorrow. Until then, remember to hug your wife and kids and tell them how much you love them. Two words that changed my life. Two words that will change your life. Be relentless.